Sky reaches uh, 22 million customers across five countries in Europe. There's 11 million connected homes, and we offer a range of services from the more obvious ones, which are pay TV and internet TV, through to telecoms, such as fixed line, broadband, and mobile services. We operate in an incredibly competitive environment. So we want to make sure that we're reach constantly developing new, new propositions, reaching out into new markets as quickly as possible, and making sure that we, we're not spending a long development life cycles getting those propositions actually to market. One of Sky's uh, mottos is believe in better. We're, it's incredibly important to our customers that when they reach out to a Sky service, when they activate that service, that it's on, that it goes on every time. That's key, all of our services have to maintain that same level of quality across the brand. By transforming that into software-defined infrastructure, we're able to embed that into an infrastructure as code pipeline to make sure that as we deploy new services, they are self-documented, self-auditing, and shrink the de delivery envelope time from weeks or months down to minutes or hours. So a lot of our key new services, digital only services, are delivered by software engineering teams that uh, run using the Agile methodology. So that's a, it's very much a move fast, quickly, break things, get, make, make it work. And we've tried to match up as much as possible that infrastructure elements to that Agile methodology. Uh, VMware is an NSX product. We're allowing the developers to instantiate and create their network components. They, um, when they were the application services, as they deploy them, they automatically get access to the right components that they need. So within the uh, enterprise engineering space, uh, our sort of uh, internal strap line is you know, faster, better, stronger, cheaper. Uh, and the idea is that we should basically be constantly driving. We should make it stronger. We should make it uh, significantly cheaper to our internal customers. So VMware NSX at Sky has allowed us, obviously, to increase uh, the pace of change uh, for, for our um, software engineering teams, allowing them to move away from having to deal with legacy you know, infrastructure components into a you know, fully software-defined world and improve speed. But also, just as importantly, is to maintain uh, safety and compliance. So in this case, we're able to ensure through the self-documenting, self-auditing elements of VMware NSX that we are compliant with regimes such as GDPR, which is obviously very important for companies like Sky. We started off obviously in the classic infrastructure space with VMware vSAN, driving down costs, improving efficiencies and the like. However, it's, it's allowed us to do things in the data center space that we wouldn't have classically been able to do before. So the video transport piece for, uh, for VMware vSAN or you know, video streaming is what powers you know, your linear TV, the, the, the live TV channels. It has to be extremely high, but highly performant. It has to be extremely reliable. You know, there are, there's, there's no, very little room for error in these sort of services. By moving to a software-defined environment, we're able to move the, the failure domain, or rather the, uh, the area of change, down to a much more granular unit. And by, by taking that out of the way, you're taking away yeah, multiple weeks of, of just moving physical devices around a, a data center, uh, bringing that down to essentially you know, hours, hours or, or potentially even minutes. For us, it's really allowing our customers to drive ahead with, with software and digital products at Sky. And so it becomes the, the, the software-defined Sky Mobile, the, the software-defined Sky, basically.